exploding arrows, sonic arrows, melting arrows, grappling arrows, bola arrows, and even pim particle arrows. Clint Barton has it all. The world's best archer may never have gone to school, but he still uses physics to ensure he never misses his mark. You know, he may have played 18 and shot 18, but had it not been for the law of conservation of energy, he would have had a difficult time with his conservation of life. Why? We'll first need to understand. What is the law of conservation of energy? The law of conservation of energy states that energy can be neither created nor destroyed. It can only be converted from one form to another. What this means is energy, which is the capacity of any object to do some work, can never be destroyed. It has many forms and it can only ever be changed from one form to another. Now let's take a look at a bow. A bow is used by pulling an arrow back along with a bowstring. This bowstring is always going to be elastic, which means it will try to return to its original shape. Elastic objects, when pulled out of their original shape, always contain some elastic potential energy. Potential energy is just the energy that is stored, and elastic potential energy is the energy stored by a deformed elastic object. The more the bowstring is pulled, the more elastic potential energy it will possess. When the bowstring is released, it will obviously try to return to its original shape. This will make it move, which will turn its potential energy into kinetic energy, which is the energy that all moving things have. The more potential energy something has, the more kinetic energy it will have when that energy is converted. And the more kinetic energy it has, the faster it will move. Do you get what I am saying? What I mean is, when you release the bowstring, all of the elastic potential energy turns to kinetic energy and all the kinetic energy, since the arrow is right in front of the string, will push the string forward and with that push the arrow forward. From that, we can infer that the further back the string was pulled, the faster the arrow will move. I believe I've proved how Hawkeye uses physics. I guess I should take a bow. Get it? A bow? You have been watching another episode of Super Science. This is the show where I show you how superheroes use physics and you absorb this information and become a physics master yourself. Don't forget to like, subscribe, read comics and watch movies. Super Science out!